Hello, Professor C here with Unix Chapter 5, another learning module. And then in this one, we're going to be working with the TR, translate in the PR, which is print commands. So again, make sure you have this file names 5.txt. We're going to be working with that. And also, while we're at it, we're going to need a larger file. So let's do this. All right. So let's do a TR command. And what we're going to do is um, translate square bracket a, uppercase a, the minus or through, capital Z, right square bracket space. Take all characters a through z, uppercase, space, convert them to their corresponding lowercase. And you can see what was proper case spelling got all converted to lowercase. And I can flip the two. I can go like this. And we can go to uppercase. The values are not actually preserved. You have to put them into a file so you can save them. So redirect the file into the command, translating from lower to upper, and then store it into a file that has them all uppercase. There you go. See how easy that was? So translate can also be used with a range of characters. Say I want to get rid of A E I O A E I O U and lowercase A E I O U and I can replace them with a singular underscore and it's almost like we're playing. You'll see in a moment. Wheel of Fortune. I replace any one of these characters with a space. I get rid of vowels, so we can play like Wheel of Fortune, you can buy a vowel. Translate only works one character at a time. If you want to do, like, replace more than one character, like an IP address or a server name, you actually have to use awk or sed. Now what I want to get into is using the uh, PR command. If you remember, I had this file called hist.txt, and it has a lot of data, in it. and in fact, I have a thousand rows of um, content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to format the for the printer. Pick a spell. And I send the file in. And then I pipe it through the less command. Take this file, send it into the command for formatting with a heading, and then put it to the less command. And you can see I added a date and timestamp, a heading, and a page number. See how easy that is. Q gets me out, and if I want to have double spacing, you do the dash D switch, which stands for double spacing. And you can see I got double spacing. And if I send it to the printer, I'll have my name on it so I can identify who it belongs to. And if I really wanted to print it, there's a command called LPR, line printer, and you specify the device, and I'm going to call it prof C printer. And if I had a printer um, up and running and available to me, this command would take the file called his.txt, put it into the print formatting command with a heading, double space, and actually send it to the printer. 